I am an English teacher by trade and I like to bring clay into the classroom whenever possible. I found that over the years a certain population of students really expresses themselves creatively um, and kinesthetically and with their hands and with their bodies and their, their creative builder types. And clay offers a whole other dimension to learning rather than just the written word. Clay It Forward is a true community project. It was created by Sandra Hodge in the Clay It Forward studio. And what it is is that you come as a community and participate and make a clay tile out of raw clay. Then you move to another station where the clay has been fired once and it's in its bisque form and you glaze it with color. And then the third station is where you actually take a piece that someone else has made. So it's already been fired and glazed and it's gorgeous and it's colorful and someone else in the community has made it. So you've made a piece and you've colored a piece and now you get to take another piece. So you're contributing to the community project. So it's in that sense, it's a true community project. I was a member of the Potter's Guild for years and, and just over time, it's all combined into a way to communicate, to help tell a story, to get people engaged. It, it's a real level playing field too where you can invite people around to sit at a table and you can have conversations once you get some trust going on. It's not difficult to understand why Katie Alton of Engine 9 Designs decided to help tell Sandra's story by working with her on a web presence so the community can follow along the Clay It Forward story online. Working with Sandra is really fun because I've experienced her art firsthand and she's a really great individual to work with. Um, it's fun to um, see the creative process when you're creating different pieces in clay. I really believe in what um, she's trying to do within the community and uh, it was just really fun working with Sandra. Fishbowl Festival celebrates all things Pisces with a number of culture and arts events, music, all kinds of things going on. And I'm going to be doing a Northern Fish Arts project as Clay It Forward on Monday the 14th of March from 1 till 4 and we're going to be doing some origami books and it just drop in free, come and make a fish and I'll have a whole basket full of bones and shells and stones. Fishing is very important to uh, this area of Sault Ste. Marie and we have lots of uh, fishing industry, lots of history around it, and it's just a really cool place for people to get involved in the water sports in the area. So we'll be doing it inside. There won't be any real fish, but there will be clay fish that you can make and take. And also on Wednesday for March break at the Ermitinger Old Stone House at the Interpretive Centre from 10 till 12 on the Wednesday morning will also be a similar fish themed idea of a clay it forward project where you can come in and, and make a fish or any kind of clay creature that you would like, a clay tile. And that will be the similar idea where you get to choose one that you like and then in exchange you make one and glaze one for someone else, uh, another project later on. Clay It Forward is a true community arts program that takes what could be a three-week process down to a fun family activity that you could participate in this March break. To check out other great Clay It Forward events, check out clayitforward.ca. For Go Shaw TV, I'm Zoe Sanguinetti.